What's going on guys, it's me Max, back with another episode of Offshore Entrepreneur. We are the programme for international business people, investors and digital nomads. In this episode, I'm going to come at you with five things that I think are great and fantastic about Paraguay. And Paraguay, I can tell you right now, is a country that I am tremendously thankful to be a part of, as are many of the entrepreneurs, business people. So let's get into the video and I'm going to tell you these five things that I love about Paraguay and think are fantastic. So number one, first out the gate, I cannot ignore that number one is the Paraguayan people. Now I've been to many Latin American countries, I'm very well traveled around the world and I can tell you the people here in Paraguay are some of the most chill people, the most relaxed people I've ever met. Now unlike most you know, Latin American people or Latinos that have a stereotype, not my opinion but just a stereotype of uh, being hot-headed or a little bit more passionate I can tell you right now that the Paraguayans are very chilled and relaxed people. You know, they're very tranquilo, as they say, you know, in Latin America. And they are muy amable. They are so friendly. If you come to Paraguay and you spend time down here, I can tell you right now that many of the Paraguayans don't have the time or the energy to be getting into stupid arguments about ridiculous things. They'd rather sit back and, you know, drink their tera de, which is essentially like an uh, iced uh, mate type drink that they'll love down here and if you come down to Paraguay you will see them sat around with their tete de, you know chilling out and they aren't getting into silly arguments about ridiculous things like many people would do in the west. Another thing that's fantastic about Paraguay is and I cannot ignore this one this is one of the reasons you all came here to watch this video is the tremendous tax savings you can get from being a resident down here in Paraguay. Now if you've come from the US, if you've come from Europe, if you've come from Australia, you're probably sick to the back teeth of paying ridiculous amounts of tax. I mean, the Americans are overcharged, you know, globally, worldwide for those guys. You know, we're overcharged in the UK and we are overcharged, you know, in Western Europe, Australia, New Zealand, all those countries. The politicians, the governments want to stick their hand in our pockets far too often to fund things like conflicts abroad or ridiculous you know, social initiatives where half the money just gets wasted or infrastructure projects that never get delivered. And not just myself, but all our clients, I can tell you right now, are sick of this. And one of the great things about Paraguay, if you come here, if you live down here, is that the government here is not interested in money that you want abroad. They're only interested in taxing you on money that's inside, earned inside of Paraguay. And that at the moment sits around 10%. So if you come and get residency in Paraguay, you're not going to pay more than 10% of money that's earned inside the country. And on that money that you earn abroad, you know, there's no tax or income tax at all. So I, for one, am thankful, you know, that the Paraguayan government chooses to structure things this way. And, you know, that it's a country that at the moment offers a great number of benefits to expats, international business people and investors that are coming to choose and live down here. Another great thing about Paraguay, or number three in this situation, is the food. Paraguay has a fantastic cuisine, and I can tell you right now that, you know, unlike some of the countries that I go to where I don't like the cuisine, Paraguay, their cuisine is fantastic. So whether you're going to come down here and you're going to try the Vori Vori with the little corn balls, or you want to try the world's only soy soup. Did he just say soy soup? I just said soy soup. Soup Paraguaya. You know, it's fantastic. You can try the solid soup down here, you know, and, um, you know, it defies the laws of physics with its solid nature, despite being a soup. And um, it is really delicious and fantastic. It's something the locals like to purport. And quite often, if you stay in different parts of Paraguay, you might hear a guy drive past in something akin to an ice cream van in the West or a little car shouting, Sopa caliente! Sopa caliente! Which is uh, the hot soup or hot Paraguayan soup and you can you can wave him down and get yourself a slice of soup Paraguayo which again is great or there's a cheaper guasu which is actually quite similar. Um, another great thing about Paraguay is that the firearms laws down here are pretty awesome. Now don't get me wrong if you are an American if you even if you or if you come from another gun tote in you know location like the Czech Republic 
um, where you know concealed carry and fully automatic weapons in America are a normal thing. The gun laws down here aren't as kind of liberal and free talking as that, but they are still pretty favorable. You can have a pistol, you can have a semi-automatic weapon, or you can even have shotguns, keep them in your house once you've got the permit, once you've got the license, and enjoy having weapons and things like that. So, you know, if you are worried about coming to a country from the US perhaps, and you're thinking, oh, you know, I, I won't go to a country that where I can't have a firearm, Paraguay does offer that option and you know it's a great thing. Now don't get me wrong, you are gonna pay more on average for your weapons. A Glock at the moment down here, I think is around a thousand dollars and ammunition is quite a bit more expensive than the US, but you can enjoy all the benefits of having a firearm, which I think. So another great thing about Paraguay is that land and property and agricultural type projects or farms are not that expensive down here. If you are a somewhat, I suppose, middle class or average earning person in the West, but you've got like a nice nest egg saved up. Agriculture, land and property down here are not super expensive. So you can get some, for a country that large parts of it are very green, you can get yourself like a farm here, a small farm or a couple of acres of land for a very reasonable cost. And you know, the property market is heating up, but it is still fun. It's still a fantastic destination to invest and get yourself a piece of property. Comparing that to a lot of countries at the moment or in the world where you know property prices have become so ridiculously overblown that you're gonna to have to put yourself in debt for a million years to buy one. Or, you know, if you are someone who's worried about food and you want to become more self-sufficient and more sustainable, which you know we all know for you guys that watch this channel, I think that's gonna be an important thing. Uh, you know, going forward when we have these nefarious global organizations trying to clamp down our freedom. I do think that th the fact that Paraguay offers the opportunity to invest in land and enjoy these agricultural type projects, grow your own food, have chickens, have cattle, is a fantastic thing. So it's another benefit that Paraguay can offer you. So another great thing about Paraguay is the living costs down here. I mean, I had a friend come to stay recently who's from the UK and he said to me that he could not believe the price of certain things in the supermarket. I mean, one thing that stood out to him because he enjoys his wine, he enjoys his whiskey, was the price of alcohol and things like that. When you think that such a large chunk of the price of alcohol in the UK or many Western nations is just tax money that's going to the government, to, again, to spend on these wasteful, ridiculous things, it's a breath of fresh air when you come somewhere like this and the prices of consumer products in the supermarket or the prices of alcohol and things like that are pretty reasonable. I mean, I'm not a smoker myself. I enjoy the occasional cigar, but I don't smoke cigarettes. And you know, the price of cigarettes down here are very, very cheap as well. So, I mean, these are just the great benefits and the five things that I think are awesome about Paraguay myself and that many of our clients who've got residency with us have said that they really appreciate. So if you are someone who is wanting residency in Paraguay, you can reach out to us, drop us an email at info at offshoreentrepreneur.net. All that we need you to do to get residency down here in Paraguay is contact us, get a copy of your police report, get a copy of your birth certificate, get those apostilled if you're in a Hague Convention country, and then make your trip to Paraguay. And the Offshore Entrepreneur team will help you with all this. We can review your documents, make sure they're up to standard. We'll meet you in Paraguay. We'll transport you to all the immigration offices, all the necessary appointments, and make sure you end up here with your residency, your settler, and anything else that you need, whether that be a driving license, a bank account, or various things. We are experts in the region of Paraguay. It's one of our areas and locations that we offer advice to. So if you, if you are wanting residence here, reach out to the Offshore Entrepreneur team. We can help you with that. Alternatively, if you are wanting tax advice, please go to the link below. You can book us out for a candidly call to optimize your tax situation. Or if you want any of our other services, please go on our website, seanentrepreneur.net, and uh, you know, take a look on there. So anyway, guys, thank you for tuning into the channel. Thank you for liking the video. Just remember, at the end of the day, we're here to help you seek opportunity beyond your own boards and keep more of your own money. I will see you in the next episode. Thank you for tuning in.